Hey traders, checking in on the cryptocurrency space. Bulls keeping complete control over the weekend, keeping up our bullish correlation with the broader stock market is our bottom in. We've been seeing profits rotating around very aggressively. Let's look at the big picture and the small picture as we look at where we stand. So we can see Bitcoin on the daily time frame continuing with significant follow through. We had the big bull day, the last video we did on Friday, and then we saw a continuation. If you go back and look at the video that we did on Friday, the theme was bull surprise. Watch for Bitcoin to trade sideways and watch for those profits to rotate into altcoins. Bitcoin then traded sideways for about 48 hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, just under 48 hours of sideways. And during that period, we saw the dominance chart drop, which tells us that we had profit going elsewhere and money coming in, you know, confidence from Bitcoin, people saying, okay, well, I'm going to put some of my cash to use in the altcoin space. So again, make note of this. When Bitcoin bulls give the confidence to make a move up and that confidence returns to the cryptocurrency space, sideways Bitcoin then means scout the altcoins to put bottoms in on their BTC pairings and for the, the FOMO and the euphoria to rotate around to other names. And just looking at the list of those names over the weekend, we had Gala USD with a huge three-day move. Today, it was XRP, big-time bull move. We had SHIB make its big-time bull move. We had, there's more, we had Matic today, big bull move up. We had AXS over the weekend with a big bull move up. So if you look at when did these names, the majority of them that started their pump on Saturday, when did they start running? They started running when Bitcoin topped out on the initial move. And it was right here. If you look at when did the bull volume start on the alts? It was at 1700 on February 4th. As soon as Bitcoin puts in a top and goes sideways, let's just do MANA as an example. What happened at 1700 on February 4th for MANA? It is right here kicked off that bull move and then the alts keep control from there as you can see on mana i'm watching the potential of an hourly rising wedge but we'll talk about that when we get there so that is one sign of confidence returning to the cryptocurrency space the other sign is the notable bullish correlation with the broader stock market we have been noting a bearish correlation with the broader stock market for over two weeks this entire bounce we were weaker than the broader market bouncing friday is the day that that changed and now it's changing again today it's staying changed. So that's another clue for confidence returning into the cryptocurrency space. Bullish correlation with stocks. Profits rotating around into altcoins. How about our backburners? Are we back to playing backburner bounces? Well, Trader Pro Alert System will let us know. Bitcoin, 15-minute oversold backburner triggered at the low of consolidation before another leg to the upside. That is best case scenario. As far as being a bull, that shows you aggressive dip buying and that dip does not last long. And the oversold conditions on a shorter term time frame are marking the higher lows on a longer term time frame. So 15 minute oversold on Bitcoin as a back burner marked the four hour higher low. And Ethereum did the same thing as well. There's your 15 minute oversold. And here we are much significantly higher. So back burners are back in play. Five minute oversold scouting hourly higher lows. 15 minute oversold scouting four hour higher lows. Eventually we'll be looking for hourly oversold backburners next time we see daily consolidation. Names that have run significantly will be looking for hourly oversold conditions to mark our daily higher lows. And if they do, then we know, again, continued strength. So again, these signals, you know, I don't have to look be looking to enter Ethereum 15 minute oversold. I can already be in a position but I can still use this information that says, okay, yep, definitely want to keep holding if back burner bounces are seeing significant follow through and marking our higher lows. Dominance chart bigger picture is not giving us any information as long as it's still tight on this weekly time frame, which it is. Again, I'm looking for a weekly lower high, anything under 47.7. And we'll be looking for a break of this tightening range that's been tightening for almost a year at this point. We're in nine months within this range and anticipating that's going to be another couple months at least continuing to tighten up. So Ethereum, continuing its move up, I'm using the 12-hour uptrend as my guide for my swing trade. So I'm moving my stop up. 
Again, entered at 2,600, sold half in the upper 2,700s, kept this position because of the 12 hour uptrend. And I'm gonna move my stop up now to 2,950. Again, bigger picture, we are still, there's definitely FOMO out there now, but we know that we're likely to set a weekly lower high. Bitcoin, anything under 52,000. We can go another 20% from here before we get to weekly resistance. We're looking to top out on the weekly whenever we do and look for a weekly higher low with lots of space for it to form. We're gonna to have to gauge what's the retracement size like, what's the amount of bear volume like on that pullback, but there's tons of names that we have now seen a big enough weekly bounce that we will be scouting weekly higher lows next time we top out. Right now, Bitcoin's four hour RSI is the highest it's been in four months. That's very telling. The last time it was this high was all time highs. So that tells us two things. Number one, definitely strong, but number two, we're gonna see some consolidation here shortly to cool that off a little bit. And so many names have been aligning with 15 minute oversold conditions with their four hour EMA 12. And they've just been bouncing off this four hour EMA 12, keeping the bulls in complete control. And because it's been working for three days, that is the guide for me in the midterm. If four hour EMA 12 support is support, the bulls have complete control. And you can see Ethereum or Bitcoin held it here, Ethereum four hour higher low, off of EMA 12, and this was actually a little lower low there. It was much more clean on a lot of other individual names, but the bottom line is that support level held, ETH BTC is weaker the last couple of days. So pulling back, we're scouting a daily higher low and currently bouncing right now. So it's a bear break with a lack of follow through, but a lot of other altcoins, definitely a lot stronger than Ethereum the last three days or so. Litecoin, big bull move up. Why do I care about Litecoin? Because LTC, BTC, here we are, weekly falling wedge at resistance. I care less about this wedge resistance than I do about the price level. So anything under 36.33 is a weekly lower high, but it's another bear break with zero follow through straight into a bounce. And again, why I don't care about this line is because you can so easily just shift it a little bit and it's still in play here. Well, what if we put it, you know, what if we put the line right here. Well, we're still hitting the majority and I could adjust it down a little bit. And so again, it's just a visual guide for the lines, but it's the price level, 36.33. And we're getting tight here. And Litecoin is setting up for volatility in, let's say, March, April. Watching it closely. All right, Mana. So Mana is a potential hourly rising wedge. Mana was a lead bull on Friday and Saturday. And then we often see the lead bulls go back to the end of the line and they stand out as lead bears. So Mana and Sand were lead bulls at the top of the green list on, I believe it was Saturday. And now they're almost at the bottom. And that's just showing again, now it's someone else's turn. Someone else is getting the attention. And while we're not weak because Bitcoin is still holding on just fine, we know that we are positioning for daily consolidation to shape up the next time we see any kind of weakness in Bitcoin. So keeping an eye on this hourly rising wedge, knowing that we have to see Bitcoin lose the hourly uptrend for any kind of weakness. We're just looking for an hourly pullback into a higher low at this point. But again, just, just noticing some slight shifts. Look at Mana BTC. So Mana BTC confirmed an hourly downtrend February 6 at 2100. And that's the first clue of a sign of weakness. So again, the US dollar pairing is still going up because Bitcoin is still going up, but we are slowing down considerably. And we can say that if Bitcoin starts to pull back, this MANA BTC chart is likely to begin daily consolidation. And we will likely see the MANA USD pairing then begin consolidation. So again, it's just the first little clue. The spotlight direct correlation between the US dollar and BTC pairing shifts. And it doesn't mean we're gonna top, but it means scout a top. Doesn't mean we're going to top right then. It means scout a top from here is what I meant to say. Mana looking at Trader Pro here. Again, just good shorter term signals. 15 minute super stack. So super stack marked a support level here in terms of that was a four hour higher low. And then it marked a climax into consolidation, climax into consolidation. So definitely getting some overextended signals on the short term timeframes. But again, we're going to be watching for super stacks on the names that have been, or not super stack, back burners on the names that have been running hard. So we look at SHIB and hourly consolidation is underway and five minute 
Bulls are watching for a five minute oversold drop to be looking for that hourly higher low. Names that have already seen their run are going to be looking for 15 minute oversold to be looking for a four hour higher low. Whether that's Matic, let's see, Matic, no, nope, not starting four hour consolidation yet. So again, four hour EMA 12 is the most important EMA and most important time frame for bulls to keep their control. We're watching oversold bounces. Do they keep marking higher lows on longer term time frames? Can Bitcoin continue to keep four hour EMA 12 support? We're in a scenario right now where we're watching for SPY and IWM and QQQ to set daily higher lows. And you can see today's an inside bar on SPY, inside bar QQQ, IWM got a little bull break with no follow through. But if these bulls can confirm daily trend changes and if SPY can continue this daily uptrend, crypto names are positioned really well for that. And our crypto stocks are doing really well. MARA today is up 10%, playing some catch up because it didn't trade on the week over the weekend. BKKT is finally changing its trend. Did we just get a new high there? Nope, testing that high. Huge day for BKKT after a very brutal pullback. Riot, daily trend change, follow through. So confidence returning to crypto, more so than in many stock places. But again, I'm noticing, you know, the MJ sector three times in the last six trading days has seen a bullish correlation with the broader stock market as well. And that's not normal. We have, that, we have not been seeing that over the last six months. So there is definitely a little bit of some risk on shifting around underway and the cryptocurrency is just glaringly benefiting from it. And we'll just see if, if that strength continues as long as the broader market continues to try and form this daily higher low and keep this uptrend going. As far as picking the name, you know, how do you pick which name's about to explode? A lot of it is guessing. So diversifying a little bit. So, you know, you're not just saying this name's going to pop next. Maybe one of these three names is going to pop next and you watch them extremely closely and you're making the play off the four hour EMA 12. But if you look at, you know, if you look at ADA four hour EMA 12, we tested it and then we just putted around and formed an equilibrium and granted it eventually broke bull, but it took a while. It didn't just bounce right off that EMA 12 off the first test. And then you look at a name like BCH, which we haven't looked at in a while, first test of four hour EMA 12 leads to the continuation. So, you know, a lot of it is guessing because many of these charts look the same and it's just one at a time. This name's going to run. It has to do with the amount of dollar volume that's required to make the bull move. It has to do with how many shorts are piled in, how much overhead resistance do we have? There's tons of factors as to which coins are popping when, but again, just having a number of, of names that you're watching and playing because if you choose the wrong one and then you got a bunch of other names popping, obviously that's not the ideal scenario. I didn't do any trading this weekend. That's me. You know, I, cho I chose Ethereum. And while these are nice gains, there were definitely bigger gains out there. But I'm at a point where, you know, I didn't feel like trading this weekend. And so I just didn't. And it was great. And yes, I could have made some money if I sacrificed some time to the screens. But I'm at a point where that's what long-term no-touch positions are for. Net worth went up over the weekend and it was great. Didn't have to do a thing. So I will... Be watching for hourly oversold conditions, looking for daily higher lows will be the next trades that I personally am interested in. But we haven't topped out yet. It's something we're watching for. Again, four hour RSI on Bitcoin definitely has us keeping an eye out for a temporary top. Next resistance levels, 44.5 is a key level. And then we're looking up towards 48.5. Tons of space for a daily higher low next time we consolidate. And we're on the verge of that first bull cross of EMA 12 and 26 since the all time high. Obviously, the shift is underway. We went from fear to FOMO very quickly. And now it's all about the weekly time frames for me. Can we shape up weekly trend changes for our monthly higher lows? Still in a monthly uptrend on Bitcoin, Ethereum, names like Mana, looking for that monthly higher low. We were watching Soul for a monthly higher low. It's got a lot more work to do. But Mana, monthly higher low, sure looking set. Do good things. Hope you had a good weekend out there. And it is definitely a time to be looking bullish. What about bears? I would be waiting. You know, I'm not trying to nail tops here if I'm a bear. I would be waiting for a big enough pullback to have a level to play off of. So let's say Bitcoin starts hourly consolidation and pulls back to the low 43s. Okay, I can scout the hourly lower high and have a clear stop level that I'm playing off of. I don't need to nail the top. I can wait for the initial pullback and then play off of that. So if I'm a bear, that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting for some kind of signal 
that it's enough pullback to then be scouting bearish entries. Congrats to the bulls. Keep an eye on the broader stock market correlation and do good things.